G'day everybody, welcome along to our grocery haul vlog for the week. And this week is a little different, we didn't do any Woolworths, did we? Not this week. Not in this grocery haul. We mentioned in the daily vlog that we achieved our points, uh, Qantas points goal. So we don't need to be locked into Woolies this week. Well not at the moment, but we need to get back there pretty soon because we've mm. got a huge goal to reach in the next year. Yeah, we've got to get some more points, but got, we can have a little break now that we've reached points club. Yeah, we can we can stop for a minute, pat ourselves on the back, <laughs> and go, go to the cheaper places for a little bit. Yeah. So. But at the same time, we still do have our ten percent discount at Woolies, so we don't want to mm. miss it. No, miss out on those either. No. So we'll get probably get back to normal, sort of, you know, what you would call our normal weekly shop next week. Yeah. Uh, but we just wanted to do this one. So the overall spend is probably less this week. Cause... Well, I've only done about three or four days of shopping so far for this week because we just, yep. we've just been, the food's been piling up and we're not getting yeah. through it all. So I want to make sure we get, get the right amount of food. So yeah, I think... I'm doing it half a week for now. I think that's a very good idea because I've noticed too that we've just been getting food and getting food and some of it's going and other is some of the other stuff not. So we, I think yeah, we need to sort of switch gears a little bit, figure it out because it's changing the, as the kids are getting older obviously and you know things change. In a lot of houses this is the case that when you have a bunch of teenagers you go through more food but we just, mm. we're just not big eaters here are we really and the teenagers no. will, they like to go to IGA and buy their own stuff. They do. Yeah, they've got to uh, make their own meals. You know, there's four of them work at KFC and they have, have access to um, cash. But they're also money. mostly at work during meal time, so yes. they don't eat what we cook. We always make sure there's enough if they want to, but if they're yeah. not here, they don't they're eat not here. here. So correct, they don't eat. We've it. actually found it's it's not gotten more expensive for us no. as they've gotten older. Oh. No, which is was something we didn't expect, but there you go. Well, I should say grocery-wise. Electricity and everything, it's a lot more expensive. <laughs> but yeah, groceries, yeah. it hasn't been. Just simple food stuff hasn't, yeah. hasn't been gone up, but yeah, everything else is certainly up there. All right, then we'll, let's have a look at what we've got for the week. Uh, I'll give you guys a quick overview. Uh, firstly? This is just half of the week. So yeah, a half of the week shopping. So. It still looks like a lot of food when you when you look at it like that. What would be the total of all the, of this, hun? We went to NQR and that was fifty one dollars. We went to Coles and that was ninety five dollars. And we went to IGA and that was eighteen dollars. NQR, Coles, a little bit from IGA on the end there. So let's uh, start with the NQR shop, which is mainly snacks. So we've got these two big five packs of these. Tasty tubes, which are really tasty. Can I just say, if you watch this mum at home, she inspired me to go grab these because she got these at her NQR. And might need a knife. Huh? Five dollars for this whole box. Five packets of five packets in a box. So twenty-five individual packs. For five dollars. For five bucks. Two boxes of those for ten bucks. Yeah. On top of the box, we've got these pop. Corners, sweet and salty. I've never seen these before myself. Have you seen these, Rachel? No. It's five packs. I don't know what I'm calling them, to be honest. It doesn't say they're, they're not fried. Uh, these were two dollars. Two bucks. All right, so we've got these thick shakes. Now, we have bought these from the from the major supermarkets before. Not but they've this... never had caramel. Yeah, so not this flavor. And I think you see a lot of that at NQR. You get a lot of these flavors that aren't necessarily the mainstream flavors. Uh, this one's a, a caramel flavour. I only got one packet in case we don't like them, and they were two dollars. Two dollars. Yeah. All right, and we got once again another case in point. We got um, jumpies and friends in this case, and these are a uh, salt and vinegar flavour. They were one dollar. Yeah, so they're definitely worth a try. And a packet of LCMs. Now these are twenty-five percent less sugar, which I've not seen before. Choc strawberry. I've not seen that flavour before either. I'm not expecting the kids will like them. Yeah. So we only got one pack for $2. $2 though. They only like the yogurt ones usually. Yeah, but worth a try. There you go, Sebi. Speaking of Sebi, he, he seemed to somehow grab these and these <laughs> and they ended up in the trolley. And as you put the stuff through, you probably just assumed I put the them Cheetos? in the trolley. Well, I didn't even look. I just put yeah. through. And the Cheetos too, yeah. The Cheetos, yeah. So we've got some sour chewy candy warheads. Yeah, I'm not going to try one of them. <laughs> I'm going to leave them for you. Uh, no, you do, and you and Sebi does as well. Party bag of Cheetos paws. 
Again, yep. that was Sebi. I did know Sebi put those in, but we can all try those. Yep. Veggie straws. They were two dollars fifty. So. All good. A little bit cheaper than usual. Yep. I did put a few things in myself, so I'm going to take a, uh, take responsibility for that right now. Um, I got two of these jars of Alfredo pasta sauce because I like pasta Alfredo. So I'm just going to make make that at some point. Um, so they were two dollars each, which I thought was was good value. I also got these um, battered hot dogs. Now I was going to do these for for dinner tonight, but uh, we've gone with the with something else. So that's fine. They can they're still rock hard frozen. Um, I think they were three dollars for three. They're a little bit expensive, but I really do like them. And the other thing that I got was these Arnott's Venetians in the shop. I absolutely love them. Hardly ever see them. I Probably they're always there, but I just don't ever see them. So whenever I see them, for whatever reason, I'm like, yes, got to have those. Elliot chose this one. He's already had his row, so <laughs> we can put that away for, he can have some more another time. This was a dollar, which I think is not a very cheap price for wafers, but it's a mm. pretty big pack. It's a big pack. I guess wafers have probably gone up too, like everything else. Mm. They what used to be they? like 70 cents for a packet. Yeah. I think it was about $2. So there's eight packets of that in there, and I'm thinking the teenagers can take them to school. Okay. Along with, of course, everything else, but I think they'll be good for the teenagers. Yep. So that's what we got from MQR, $51.50. No, sorry, the boys also had an ice cream each when we were there, so two more ice creams. Yep. Add that to that, and that's That, that was, was part of it, 51 bucks. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Cool. So on to Coles, $95. So like I said, this is only three to four days worth of food, particularly fresh food. I just don't want it sitting in the fridge not being used yep. so as soon as we need more i'll go get it even if it's in tomorrow or the next day yeah i mean even Fresh look food, we need to do better yeah we've got these two packets of mini bananas and these were so good this week because i went in i could choose them yep usually there's only like four or five and they're a little bigger than this but these are perfect for lunch yeah boxes. that is perfect and there's so many in there i already yeah. had one because i was hungry <laughs> <laughs> There's so many in there. That was really good. Two cucumbers. They're good for lunch boxes too. But also, it's still sort of salad weather. So, I don't know. I like salad sandwiches and stuff as well. Cucumbers go well in a salad sandwich. One lettuce. Decent one for a change because we picked our own fruit picked and veg. Own, yeah. So, yeah. Two one kilo pink lady apples. And they were marked right down this week, which is good because they're usually expensive. But they're pretty much everyone's favorite. Yeah. I remembered the ham this week to go with those pickles that we got last week. Oh, the pickles. Yeah, yeah. Somebody commented about why you might be thinking... Yeah. Uh, I was thinking I should just put it on the ice cream, shouldn't I? <laughs> <laughs> but now we can have the ham and pickle sandwiches, which is good with some cheese. Well, you up. can, but I won't be. I, like <laughs> I like pickles 24-7, no matter if I'm pregnant or not. So Yeah, you're a pickle <laughs> fan. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. We'll say that at the outset. But you probably like it even more at the moment than usual. I don't think I've had any yet, but... Maybe when it's open, it will go through a pretty yeah. quick. <laughs> I just thought we should get a couple of dips. We just get them from time to time. A couple dips, yep. Cheese and chive dip and spicy capsicum. I love spicy capsicum yeah, dip. Yeah, I know. I wanted to get an olive one, but they didn't have any, so I got that oh. one. And I thought that would go nicely on these. Oh, the perfect dip. The Turkish bread rolls. Yeah. Yep. yep. These are a pretty decent price, and they were fresh too, because they were still kind of steamy in the packet. Yep, yep. This was half price. We got made some cornflakes. So we've got those for this week's cereal. We've yep. still got a heap of wheat bix, but we kind of run out of everything else. Yeah. So now we've got wheat bix and cornflakes. I mean, Elliot would be happy to have wheat bix every single day of his life, yes. but Sebi and others don't. Three, three liters of milk, which we will run out of, but that's fine. Also a liter of oat milk. I saw oat milk at um, NQR yeah. and I wanted to get it, but How then it? Um, it was $1.50. Uh, oh, that was $3. It was really cheap. Yeah. Problem was, is that it was coffee flavored oat milk. Oh, no. Yeah. And I, yeah. And I freaked out when I saw it. I'm like, yeah. I don't understand this. Ten pouches of yogurt. Elliot said he didn't want any for school. So. Right. We'll have some for Violet at home and some for Sebi at school. We also got a 12 pack of the tubs as well so that everyone can have the tubs. Yeah. We haven't got those in a while, so it's yeah. good to get those. Yeah. It's good to bring things like like the the yogurt tubs back in as well as the yogurt pouches because we haven't had them for a while yeah. and and it's like the kids do them anymore, so. 
anymore. Yeah, they're not sick of them anymore. So. Yeah. And also, as we've said before, we actually really love the taste of the cold food. Like, it's our favourite taste. Mm. So, it's nice to be able to get some cold stuff again. Mm. Tomatoes were knocked down. Tomatoes, yep. Just two loaves of bread because I knew I would be doing more shopping this week. Yep. Uh, did I say the eggs? No, you didn't say yeah. the eggs. 12 of the large free range eggs. $5.20 for the, for the eggs. For the free range eggs. Yeah, which oh, is this, good because they're free right. range. Yeah. That's still a fairly good price. They're not very big eggs, but. Yeah, they're large ish. Not yeah. really large, but they're good enough. Yeah. yeah. So that's it for. Oh, sorry. Also, desperately need this. Yeah, yeah. Fly spray. The flies are just insane. Still, still hanging around, even though the weather's cooler. Yeah, and I'm seeing everyone online saying how crazy the flies are in Australia anyway. Mm. And we were just nearly out of that. Luckily, it was half price. So cool. we've got some fabrics off the market. Ninety-two dollars and fifty-two cents. Okay. And we only have eight ovenware credits because we—I didn't know about it. <laughs> yeah. We don't go to Coles, but I think we've got enough ovenware stuff anyway. And we have five thousand one hundred and forty-two flyby points, but we can't use them because we don't have a physical card. So I need to order a physical mm. card. Um, last time I said that someone was saying that you you can use the card on your phone. And you can use that for scanning and stuff, but you can't use it to redeem cash. So we need a physical card to swipe to redeem the and cash. And that disappeared a while back, didn't it? Yeah, but you can order another one pretty easy. So I'll do that because it's got to be about $30 on there. Yeah, well, yeah. Maybe 20 Definitely want to get the value. Yeah. And then lastly, on the way home, so it was a bit funny because I was in Troy's car and the time was like nearly five o'clock. I was thinking, starting to stress about dinner. I didn't want to come home after shopping and cook a meal. But I didn't want to spend money on takeaway because it would have been way too expensive. So I thought we'd just get some chicken and rolls. Which is what we did at IGA because it was way too expensive at Coles. So at IGA, the chicken was $10.99. Chickens are so tiny now. I remember we used to get them. And one was enough for the whole family to have. Yeah. It's no, so that's, tiny. That's a small chicken. But at least these were marked down $2 for the rolls. Yep. And then I thought we'd get that for dessert. Uh, so yeah, it was five o'clock, so we grabbed these things, and then you plugged your phone into the car, and it was only four o'clock, <laughs> so yes. it wasn't actually nearly dinner time at all, but that's okay because it's good for a nice cheap dinner. Yeah, so it's interesting because when I plug my phone into the car and use Apple CarPlay, the right time displays because it updates automatically, but the car itself, its own internal clock didn't, no, so that's it what... it didn't change from daylight savings time, so I thought we were running out of time for dinner. So, Lamingtons. instead yeah. of spending $50, $60, well, who's, it would have been like $70, $80 on takeaway, spent $18 yeah. to make dinner at home, cause, and then we'll add lettuce and cheese that we already have as well, make some nice chicken rolls. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it actually. I really it's, like it. Um, so good. <laughs> hot chicken rolls with like uh, some sort of mayo and. Uh... Well, we bought that Chipotle mayo. Did you say that? I don't yeah, think we no, said that. I missed the, the Chipotle oh, mayo. Just go back to the NQR um, shop. We did include this uh, Chipotle mayo, and you were saying, oh, we haven't had that for a while. Let's get some Chipotle mayo. Now we're going to have these chicken um, <laughs> rolls. <laughs> yes, Destiny. So that's really good. I'm looking forward. That's what I'm going to have on mine with some cheese and such. So, yeah. Um, that's a pretty good uh, haul for the week. Three different locations. It wasn't really hard because they all sort of, we went to NQR, furthest away, then Coles on the way back, and then IGA, which is literally around the corner from our house, or not far from our house. So it, it wasn't a big deal to stop in those three yeah. spots. So it's probably about $160 for all of this for, well, our, the snacks will last all week, but the fresh food we'll probably need to top up on, which means we probably won't do much more than 220 ish for the whole week, yeah, which we is pretty good. Which good. We've got a big family, so. Yeah, that work out well. But we've also got a bunch of stuff in the freezer that we can use as well, so. We're not oh. starting from scratch. Yes. Yeah, there is still quite a lot of freezer food to, um, to get through, so. Yes. Cool. All right, I think that's it. That's all we have for you today. Thanks for watching, and uh, until tomorrow, hurry, mate.